Este video explica qué usted debe de hacer si la policía lo para. Aunque este video esté en inglés, los puntos mayores son explicados en español en los subtítulos. Gracias por ver el video. So traffic stops. Traffic stops can happen for all sorts of reasons. Speeding, running red lights, even texting while driving. Traffic stops can be dangerous. I don't know who I'm stopping in that vehicle. And I have to be concerned about their safety as well as my own. Oh look, this vehicle doesn't have a license plate displayed. I'm gonna go ahead and make a traffic stop and I'm gonna see if I can figure out what's going on. So when an officer is behind you with their lights on, pull over and stop to the near shoulder or turn lane. Usually we like to say the right side of the road, but if it's a large road like an interstate, you can pull over to the left side of the road as long as it's safe to do so. Make sure if you're in a turn lane that you pull forward enough for the police car to be out of the travel lane too. Remember, it's all about safety. So I'm gonna finish up on this traffic stop and I'm gonna let you jump in with some of my other officers and see what they have to say. Hi, I'm Officer O'Leary. Thanks for riding with me today. Welcome to my mobile office here. I heard you want to learn about traffic stops. When I pull a vehicle over and I approach the driver, I'm going to ask them to keep their hands on the steering wheel so that I can see that they don't have anything in them. I'm also going to ask them to stay in the car until I come back up. When I get back to the cruiser, I always keep an eye on what the occupants are doing inside the car. If I start to see them moving around, I don't know if they're going after a weapon or for something illegal, or maybe they're just reaching for something on the floor. I don't know, but either way, it looks suspicious. Just remind your passengers, stay in the car and minimize their movements until the end of the traffic stop. I'm not sure what this driver's doing. Four three one Bravo traffic stop. I'm going to be on Gallows Road, just past Village Drive, with Virginia Tag, Anki, O Charlie two one three four. Now that we have the vehicle stopped, I need to decide if I'm going to approach from the passenger side or from the driver side. Given the flow of traffic today, I'm going to approach from the passenger side. Don't be alarmed by this. This just helps keep the vehicle in between me and the heavy flow of traffic. It also lets me hear you better and communicate with you better. Hey, I'm Officer Winston. Thanks for riding along with me. I hear you're my traffic stop expert now. Welcome to Midnight Shift. Things look a little different at night, and that can add to confusion. We have a lot of unmarked police vehicles out here. So if you're not sure the vehicle trying to pull you over is a real police vehicle, pull into a well-lit, well-populated area. While you're looking for a place to stop, slow down and put your hazards on to acknowledge the officer. If you're still worried, think about calling 911 to ensure there's a real law enforcement officer behind you. This truck in front of us has expired license plates. I'm gonna make a traffic stop. It's just another officer coming to check on me. It's pretty routine. I would check on him if he was making a traffic stop. Dispatch also checks on us. We all just want to make sure everyone's okay. If an officer gives you a summons, sign it. It's not a mission of guilt, it's just saying that you'll come to court or that you'll prepay the fine. If you don't sign a summons, you can be arrested, taken before a magistrate. Remember, we're looking for compliance not conviction. Gracias por ver el video.